Hey friends, Diana here from Garden Love. So today I want to give you guys a quick video on how to transplant your passion fruit. Mine in particular are cutting from a, cuttings from my previous passion fruit vine that I had in my previous property. It was a huge, amazing passion fruit vine that took over over the matter of one year. Unfortunately, we left that property and we are here. So we're very happy to be here, but I'm pretty sad that I don't have any passion fruit. Thankfully, I was able to get some cuttings. I'll show you guys how my cuttings were in a clip here right now. So you guys can see, I'll take a moment to show you that root. And I also put a little bit of rooting hormone if you have some. If you don't, that's fine too. These were without rooting hormones. I just cut them and put them in here. And like I said, like 90% of them took, like there's only a few that didn't, but most of them did and what i'm going to do now is they're getting really big now so i want to make sure that i separate them and i'm going to plant one in a container that you can see all right here. so i went ahead and got this container this is usually at the big box store they're used to um, mix you mix concrete with it but i've used them in the greenhouse to hold water since most of the gardening supplies were completely sold out so i just improvised and this is what i did so I want to make sure that I don't disturb the roots that much. So hopefully it just kind of slides out. There you go. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at all these roots. Okay. This is very good. I'm just going to try to break it apart. I am want to take two for this pot and then the rest I'm going to put them in separate pots. Ooh, feels so bad. Look at that. See? I'm gonna put two of them in here. Definitely. Over here. You guys see that? Put them over here. So I wanna go ahead and put two of them. Alright, now that you guys got to see how I separated these passion fruits, I'm basically going to transplant one into this big wine barrel. I'm doing two experiments, one with the greenhouse, one without it, and hopefully it survives. Hopefully this pine tree that's here and this little structure that's right here to my left is going to provide a little bit of a windbreak, uh, shade, and what else shade and protection from frost because those are the things that passion fruits absolutely hate so when you are going to plant a passion fruit you want to make sure that you put it in a place that has some sort of um windbreak because they hate you know being blown around you want to make sure that it gets some sort of shade in the afternoon if you live if you live in extreme heat kind of like california or arizona maybe even well utah you can grow it because you guys get snow there it will definitely kill the plant and you want to make sure that it has protection from frost because they do not do well with frost they want to always be protected from frost that's the reason why i'm doing an experiment one with the little mini greenhouse and one just without it i'm hoping that the tree in this structure here gives it enough shelter so it protects it from all those elements that passion fruits do not like they do love sun so they do really well when there's sun but they don't they don't like extreme weather so just keep that in mind when you're choosing a place to put your passion fruit if you are going to put it in a place that's going to have a little bit of everything i just mentioned you might want to think about what, what to do to protect it in the winter and when you're getting frost maybe put an umbrella over it maybe get a mini greenhouse and cover it with it at least uh, a good portion of the stem and some of the the leaves so if some of the leaves and the vines um, die out at least you still have the stem and what you have in your container that's the reason why i'm not putting in the ground because i need to test the waters here at our new property and see what kind of microclimate we have how things um, grow here during the winter and how uh, so, yeah well yeah both how they grow here during the summer and how they survive during the winter so this was a cutting that i took from my vine unfortunately oh no i damaged it a little bit hopefully it'll do fine and look at all those roots aren't isn't that amazing all these roots very easy to propagate passion fruits if you have one or your neighbor has one or a friend has one i'll link the video right above so you guys can see how easy it is i actually have several so if you guys want to go looking for for it i highly recommend it i'm gonna give this a try right here i'm gonna put it closest to this that way it has a little bit of a shelter like we mentioned and i'm going to add shirt star you guys know that i add shirt star to any of the, my plants and trees that i am repotting because it helps 
promote new root growth and I love it. So I'm going to put it in here just like that. And then very important, especially for this one that you guys provide some sort of support. And that is what I'm going to do right now. Actually, I'm going to do it this way so I can easily tie it. Now, you guys might be wondering, well, what did you put in your container? To be quite frankly, passion fruits are not that picky when it comes to their soil. They do want to keep just moisture in their soil and just give it a good fertilizer um, at the beginning of the season. If you have it in the ground, you don't have to fertilize that much. If you have it in a container, you're going to have to fertilize a little bit more often, a couple times during the summer. But most importantly it just wants well draining soil all fruit trees hate being or sitting in water so as long as you have well draining soil that's going to be fine but you also want something that's going to hold a little bit of moisture when it comes to um you know when you water it you want to make sure that see that it this is moist but you can hardly tell when I squeeze it, it's not sticking together, it's still breaking, which means it doesn't hold moisture, like it doesn't waterlog, which is what I'm trying to say. So you want to give it a good support to get it a good start so that way the trunk can get pretty established. And let's go ahead and pin it together just so everything can get established. I just noticed this on the back of one of the leaves, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I'm not sure what it is, but whatever it is, we don't want it. So I'm going to go ahead there we go. Now, since this has been in the greenhouse and is a very, you know, very baby plant, you're going to want to protect it. This is my three-in-one paint that you can spray with any, any, um, any trees, any plants, any vines right here. It protects from sunburn, incense, and rodents. So I have all of those here. So I want to make sure that I give it a good spray. Maybe. And then I am going to give it a little fertilizer. I have that. IV organic fertilizer, which has basically everything your plant is going to need. I'm going to put it all around. Now you might be asking, why did I put this little vine in such a big pot? Well, that's a very good question. It's this pot is way too big for this passion fruit. So what I'm going to do to use up some of the space is put something else there temporarily. I want to point something out. When you are transplanting a fruit tree, a vine, anything, you don't want to go from a small container to a big container for several reasons. One, you might get root rot because there might be too much water in there. The plant is just not absorbing everything. Two, it might create bubbles in the, in the soil and you might not be getting the water where you need it to get. Okay, so there's so many reasons that you don't want to go from one container to another. You want to make sure that your plants go upgrade in pots just like you would shoes. You go to the next side each time your foot grows. You go to the next side each time you need to go. So I do have another little cutting here. I don't know how well this is doing, but look, there's still growth going. I'm just going to use it. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to give it a little bit of short star cover it up, put a little bit of fertilizer, and then most importantly, I'm going to spray it to protect it from sunburn. And after that, I want to make sure that I give it a deep watering. I'm going to try to find something else to put right here to help fill the void of soil that I have here, tons of soil. Look at that. That was drying out, so I want to make sure that I spray that. Guys, passion fruits are super easy to grow if you just put it in the right place where they're going to thrive. And you give it the care that it requires, the soil that it needs, some fertilizer, you'll be good to go. 
So stay tuned for the progress of this passion fruit and the other ones I have grown in containers in a mini greenhouse. I'll give you guys a sneak peek on that so you guys can see it. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them down below. If you guys are interested in seeing my previous video on my cuttings and my previous ginormous passion fruit that I had growing on my previous property, go ahead and look at the videos right above. For now, this will be it, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Give me some thumbs, and thumbs up if you guys like it. Consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to always plant something, grow something beautiful, and create something useful. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.